Porsche was born in 1887 in Cincinnati, Ohio. She and her mother needed to support themselves, and so her mother put her on the stage as a childhood actress. If her mother could not afford to support her, oftentimes she was placed in convent schools or orphanages. She was educated by Catholic nuns, and that was one of her first experiences with religion, with, with watching priests say mass, and she would uh, almost try to replicate what the priest was doing. She probably received the equivalent of a formal eighth grade education. Her acting career took her from Ohio to Chicago, and then at the age of 15, she traveled to Boston. In Boston, uh, Jacques Marche met a man by the name of Brookings Montgomery Jr., and she and Brookings eloped. And by the time she was 21, she had three children. The marriage did not last. They were very and at that time, women did not have custody of their children. All she knew how to do was be an actress, and so to make a living, she comes to New York. In the early 1920s, Jacques Marche arrives in Greenwich Village, and Greenwich Village is a really fantastic hotspot for young actors and actresses, and it's a growing theater scene. And it's here where she comes into contact with folks that are very interested in what was known as Orientalism. She met a gentleman by the name of Harry Clauber, and Harry Clauber was a very successful businessman. So Harry, being a very loving husband and wealthy businessman, she also set about trying to educate herself as best as possible about Tibet and Tibetan Buddhism. Jacques Marche wanted her art to be seen in a very contextual setting, but she never traveled to Tibet. So through her books, she looked at very many pictures and was inspired by Tibetan monasteries and wanted to create a small monastic complex on the hills of Staten Island. In the years of 1945 and 1947, Jacques Marche began to construct what she called her Tibetan chanting hall, and that was to be the museum. She wanted to create an understanding of Tibet and what a Tibetan building might look like. The museum is actually constructed from all local fieldstone. To the museum and the library, the property is surrounded by gardens, and Jacques Marche was very much affected by the Great Depression and the two world wars, and she wanted to create a very peaceful retreat-like setting, which is also why the museum is in Staten Island on her property uh, in a place that is sort of a step away from the hustle and bustle of New York City. So she wanted her visitors to have a very interesting, educational, and also calming and peaceful feeling when they came to visit the museum. Jacques Marche built the center as a place where people could come see the art in a very contextual setting, and uh, people could get a view of Tibetan art, Tibetan artifacts, sculpture, tanka. She also surrounded the center with gardens and meditation cells. 
The museum opened in 1947, and unfortunately, Jacques Marche passed away six months after the museum opened. She passed away at the age of 60, but she did pass away after her life's work was completed. 